her from day one was a really happy dog. She couldn't move any of her legs. It was painful for her to move her neck. Uh, but from day one, her tail was wagging the whole time. Uh, Pepper had radiographs taken at her referring veterinarian, so we knew from those x-rays that she had luxations uh, both in the beginning part of her cervical spine and then towards the end of it. So what we did when she presented to us is we stabilized her hemodynamically, we gave her some IV fluids, we gave her some pain medication, and then we went on to CT scan where we confirmed and got a better idea of the type of luxation that she had in her neck. So her first surgery, we went in and stabilized the top of her neck, and then the second surgery, we went in and stabilized the, the bottom part of her neck. And this second surgery allowed Pepper not to have to have any bandages or braces on her neck, which allowed her to jump right into rehabilitation. When I initially started working with Pepper, it was one week into her stay in the hospital, and she already had one surgery. So on my first day on her case, we immediately took her in for her second surgery. So I didn't really get to know Pepper um, that whole first week. You know, she was in a neck brace, she couldn't move, she was on a lot of pain meds. Um, it was mostly just, you know, patient care, supporting her while she recovered from that procedure. Um, but then as, you know, we started her physical therapy, started working with her every day, she really just developed this fun little personality and kind of became herself again. It was really cool getting to know her and watching her heal not only physically, but just having that quality of life and that joy and that being that fun dog again that she is.